dear participants in this session we will learn some of the matrix related to the compensation right so how a manager can use these matrix in order to take decision related to designing of the compensation right determining the various factors related to the compensation how much we should pay which factor like what should be the base rate what should be the uh, long term incentives for which position you need to have more long term incentives short term incentives right so such kind of decisions that you will see every day that hr manager has to take place at the workplace right related to the compensation so in today's session we will discuss some of the matrix which may be useful for the hr managers to take the decision related to the compensation so let us start with the content of the day what we will learn today so first thing that we will learn pay mix policies so as i was saying as a, as a hr manager you need to take a decision how much you should pay the base how much should be the short term incentive how much should be the long term right so that analysis that we will do it department wise right why it is important that is what also we will discuss next thing that is what we will discuss job evaluation point right so you would have learn how to evaluate the job right and give the certain number to the each skills so whatever job that is are available first you have to define the job you have to categorize right and then related to the each job you have whatever skills are there you have to identify these skills and for each skill you need to pay you need to give certain points so skills which can be paid so like compensation that we are deciding so for one organization which pays for certain skills only we cannot say that for all skills that organization makes the payment organization makes the payments only for few uh, skills right that you have for example in a teaching field if you know how to take a class on the basis of that you will be paid so you will be paid for teaching training research consultancy and administration if you are having any other skill other than that it which may help you indirectly to do these all activities but organization may not pay pay you for that so for the each job you have to identify the skills which can be paid for doing a particular job right and then you have to develop the then you have to calculate the job worth how important this job is in, in the organization and accordingly you need to decide the compensation for that particular job so for example sometime you may see that that job position is same assistant general manager marketing assistant general manager hr assistant general manager operations right all people are the assistant general manager but you may see the difference in their compensation right because the worth of job that is the different from one job to another job in the organization so that's why you will see a difference so how to calculate that worth right so i hope till now you would have got the idea to decide the point so each organization will decide the point for this particular skill how much points that you are giving so based on that you will be able to calculate the worth of the each job which is available in your organization and then according to the worth you can divide these all jobs into the categories right so that is the importance of the job evaluation so related to this whatever statistics is there whatever that number count that we can use it that is what we will discuss in this session right next is that impact of performance rating on the salary right so how this performance rating if inflated so in a performance analytics we had discuss about the rating if they are inflated if they are deflated so how it impacts so how these ratings impacts the salary of the employee within the organization right so that is what we also we will understand why this analysis is important that is what also we will discuss next that we will discuss so every year that you can see in every organization that salary hike is there right so on what basis we should increase the salary hike and how it impacts the employee 
right that is what we will do it next based on this compensation we will try to understand who is the key human resource within the organization right so based on this compensation for example in any academic institute faculty members are the key human resource right so if key human resource are underpaid as compared to other jobs which are available in the academic institute this may be a problem within the organization because you are saying worth of that person is very high but that payment that you are giving that is not aligned with worth of the job then it could be a problem in the future so that is what that concept also we will understand in the similarly we can take the example of the it organization so in it organization if this it professional who are the key human resource if they are not paid very high right then organization may face some of the problems because if you are saying they are the backbone of the company but they are not being paid the highest salary so they may not be satisfied with the salary structure so how you can understand the various factor related to this key human resource by analyzing their salary structure that is also we will discuss in this particular session right so this is the content for the day so these are the things that we will discuss in this particular session so let us start with the first pay mix policies so whatever salary that any one of you is getting in the organization specifically at the managerial level so in the managerial level that you will see first component of the salary would be the wage rate second certain benefits that employee will be getting now you can divide these benefits into the two categories short term benefit and long term benefit that is what you can do it or separately you can write the benefit and then short term incentives and long term incentives right so this incentives based on performance so if your performance is high then what would be the short term incentives and what would be the long term incentives right and what are the employee benefits are there like you will see sick leaves are there paid leaves are there earned leaves are there right and health insurance are there so such kind of benefits are there so how much we are paying what is the component of these benefits in the total salary that we are drawing so what you can do first you can identify the department and job position for a job position let us say manager in any department manager is the marketing right manager so let us assume 10 managers are working in this department right so what is the base rate for them what are the how much is the benefit and how much is the long term and how much is the short term incentives so now you you can make a one bar graph or pie chart based on these component to showcase how much that contribution in a salary is how much of a each component right so for example you can see let us assume your salary is per month salary is 1 lakh rupees right and in 1 lakh rupees the contribution 25000 comes through because of the base salary is there and 25000 so 1 lakh rupees that i am talking about ctc right without any deduction this 1 lakh rupees is there and 25000 comes through the benefit and long term incentives just 10000 and short term incentives are 40000 per month right so this is the composition of your salary of a manager so now what you understand here constant pressure is there because base rate is fixed it cannot be reduced this is the fixed amount right employee benefits are also fixed whether your performance goes up or down it is not going to impact your base rate and it is not going to impact your benefits right but if here you can see this long term incentives and short term in, in, uh, incentives both type of incentives will be impacted by your performance whatever performance you have but here you can see the 40% salary component that you are drawing that is coming through the short term in incentive so it indicates that constantly you have to focus on your performance because if you will not focus on your performance then your salary may decrease immediately right because 40% of the component is coming so the constant pressure on a manager is there to perform right so it shows the priority of the organization because 
this compensation gives the signal to the employee also right so here you can do the component analysis of the each position so which will tell you which component should be high and which component should not be high right so according to the nature of the job right if you believe that all manager need to perform on short term basis and like day to day basis they have to perform right so then you can increase the short term incentives if you believe their long term performance matters a lot right initial failures and performance may compensate the long term performance also then you can increase the long term incentives second thing if you believe that attrition rate is very high in your organization now you want to reduce that attrition rate right so then you in that case also you can increase the short term incentives right and you can increase the long term incentives and you can reduce the short term incentives so people may be staying for longer period of time in your organization because they are keep on performing now they want the return of their performance so they may stay for some more time in your organization they can take and then they can leave the organization so what i'm trying to make you understand here each component of the salary gives some signal to the employee what this organization wants to do right for example here if you will see the many employee benefits are very high but base rate is not that much high employee benefits are very high like kids school fees is refunded medical reimbursement is refunded right housing allowances are given on time so such kind of benefits are very high right so it shows that that organization is having the caring nature for the employee right so employee benefits are very high and are paid on the time right so that is what i am trying to make you understand this component analysis salary component analysis or pay mix salary structure that that is there in the organization right it will help you to understand which component should be given more which should be given less as per the employees requirement right it is not necessary for all employees you should follow the same pay structure right for all employee it is not it is not necessary so you can divide certain jobs into the category and according to the job you can design the compensation right so these are the monetary benefits in addition to this you can if we talk about the total rewards so in that non monetary benefits are also there so you can think about the non monetary benefit and then you can make the tot reward total rewards and then you can offer to the employee so this analysis will help you to understand which component is playing role and which component is giving which signal so sometime you can reduce one component and you can increase another component salary is same but still that employee will perceive the different thing from about the organization because each component gives the different message to the employee right i hope this much you would have learned when you must have learned about the compensation each component of the salary gives the certain message to the employee now which message that you want to give to your employee after doing this analysis that you can decide so how you will decide which message that you should give what is the mission and vision of your organization think about it and then think what message that you should give according to your salary so then you can say that is it is the strategic hrm because you have aligned the organization compensation strategy with the organizational strategy right i hope this pay mix policies analysis is clear to you based on this you can decide the component how much should be the which component right as per your organization and as per the nature of the job right so let us discuss the second matrix that is the job evaluation point right so if you remember in compensation matrix so if you remember just in first matrix that i was discussing two component of the salary core compensation and benefits right so core compensation that is the fixed whether your performance goes up or it goes down uh, it will not impact your core compensation it is going to remain the same right but in the case of benefits 
your performance may impact. So the type of benefit that I already said, some benefits that you have to give to the all employees because it is the government norms. And these government norms vary from one country to another country, right? So there is no fixed government norm across the world, right? In India, government norms are different. In UK, US, that government norms are different. So some fixed benefit that each organization has to give if that employee is the full-time employee in your organization. And for part-time also some other government rules and regulation may be there, right? So what you can do through this? So this job evaluation point, right? So first thing that you have to do, if you remember there are many methods are there related to the job, job evaluation. So relative grading method is there, point method is there. So most of the organization use the point method to do the to evaluate the job so when i was introducing this session what is the content in that i clearly mentioned how to evaluate the job right so first thing that you have to do you have to identify the jobs which are available then you have to categorize those jobs for each job you need to identify the skill set and for each skill set medium high low level you have to give certain points by giving those points you have to give the points to the all jobs for example assistant manager is there am is there senior manager is there manager is there general manager is there in the same department any same department in a marketing right so now you can say these employees have to do the same any assistant manager also has to increase the sales senior manager also have to increase the sales mark manager also have to increase the sales and general manager also have to increase the sales so how their salary will differ and how their job worth will differ, right? Because each of them have to increase the sales of the department, right? So, but in the case that depth of the skill or the expertise of that particular skill is required. So skill variation will be there, right? So let us assume that communication skill is there, right? So when you are a general manager, your level of communication skill should be very high, right? So so on high, medium and low, based on that you can give certain points. If the skill is high, then job worth is high, right certain points are high. So that point, how much point that you will give, so that you need, that each organization has to decide. Like for this particular skill, for low level, these many points are there. So that is how you can decide the job worth of each position, right? And why, what I am trying to make you understand, so job worth that you have decided, right, for example, for one manager, you decided the 1000 points, for senior manager, you decided just 1100 points, right, so this is the job worth that is what you have calculated. Now, but in, a, in the case of salary, there is a huge difference, 40k and 80k, right, so what I am trying to make you understand through this analysis, there is no big difference between the job worth of senior manager and manager as per your job evaluation. But there is a huge difference in terms of their salary, right? So this may create dissatisfaction within the organization. You have evaluated the job after the job evaluation the worth of the job is very very close right but salary differentiation is very very high right so if if you get such kind of data then it is the alarming situation for the organization right you need to think about it so what i suggest here and we will discuss the other component of this salary also but the whatever way that you have calculated the job worth whether it is the point method, whether it is the relative grading method, you have calculated. So then if points are difference of the point is also very less, then you have to reduce the salary component also. Or you have to define for one point how much salary will be paid. Are you getting it what I am trying to make you understand? Right, so for 1000 points are there, so for one point, how much salary this organization pays? For one job evaluation point, if you are, your job is worth equal to one 
point then how much salary is there. So, simple thing that you can do you if your job what point is 300, 1100 multiply by that. So, you will get the salary core salary component and similarly you can decide the benefits right. So, benefits so that is how you can this method may help you to calculate the compensation also right for according to the job worth right whatever job worth is there and then based on that job worth you can decide the salary structure also. And if one more thing that you can do after the job analysis you can compare the salary if there is a huge difference among the employee because of unstructured compensation people whoever is coming they how as much as amount they are asking that is amount is given there is no fixed compensation policy is there or policy was there initially when that organization was started but after 15 year 20 year or that review was not done because of that the salary structure have changed because the pay rise that you are giving to the new employees because of that the pay structure may get changed. Second thing whatever incentives that you are giving to your existing employees because of that to the top performer and poor performer. So, variation in that because of that also there might be a difference right in the salary structure. So, you need to review the worth of job regularly you can decide that interval after 2 year after 3 year or after 4 year whatever interval that you can decide and then you need to check the compensation in your organization. So, whether that job evaluation point and compensation both are aligned or not aligned or mismatched. So, if mismatched are there so that gives the signal for the parity like job the compensation parity is not there the equal amount is not being paid right for the deserving candidates. So, the such kind of issues that you may see in the organization that may occur, but if you are keep reviewing your this compensation matrix, then you can see some of the, then you can take a appropriate decision at the time of whenever it is required after doing. So, here you can analyze the job worth and compensation. So, if you how you can visualize it right. So, just you can make annual salary and job worth right and then you can give a market line. So, based on market like for which job how much it is being paid and then you can calculate the various types of ratios. So, that is what we will discuss in the next slide right. Next thing that we need to understand very well right. So, this phenomena that you might have seen in all organization existing employees get dissatisfied because they complain new employees are coming they are getting more hike at the time of joining as compared to the all old employees. Then what is the use of staying in this organization we should move to the another organization right. So, in order to understand this region. So, if this region is very high for the attrition in your organization and you know, like people are leaving. So, that attrition analysis that we discuss in the recruitment. So, if you remember if this is the region that is the prominent reason that you found in the attrition region for leaving the employee right. Then what you can do in order to understand this problem in depth what you can do by, for job position wise right old employees what is the average percentage of hike that they are getting right from let us assume somebody was the senior manager and became the manager. Senior manager became the manager right. So, how that person has become the manager right. So, that manager that person has become so that job position that is what you can see that job position. So, because of the job position that person became a senior manager to manager. So, what was the percentage hike that was given to him right and new employees on the same position is joining from the outside. So, what is the percentage hike that is being given? So, let us assume 10 people have joined from the outside on a managerial position in your organization or that according to the job category that you have decided right. So, for each job category for new employee what is the average percentage of hike and for the existing employees after the promotion right they have promoted from one level to another level. So, what is the 
average percentage of hike after the promotion that both things that you can compare if you found both the both averages are close to each other then you may not see see this phenomena and you can use this data to do the internal branding within the organization so that will increase the satisfaction level of the employee within the organization because generally it is the perception is there within the organization if i am coming from the outside then i will be paid more if i am coming within the organization then i may not be paid that much right so this perception so if you want to remove this perception so you can do the job after the job evaluation based on the job worth you have already developed the job category right so job category for each job category what is the average percentage of hike after the promotion a person is moving from one person to another person so how much the ctc changes there but when somebody is coming from the outside right then how much change that that person is getting right that's the one thing second thing whether that person is getting more than the existing salary right that i'm talking about the ctc although you have decided some big grade that is what you have decided but still if you found this person is the talent talented persons are there so you want to retain that person and you have increased the salary so if such kind of culture is there in your organization in that case this matrix may be useful to do the internal branding right so i hope you would have understood the impact of this increase of your uh, salary right so i hope you would have learned the few matrix related to the compensation in this session thank you